Today, I'm going to talk about how to verify source of the cells in the final merged layout in case you need to update the version of certain cells or override them without loading the design in memory. The need for this information may often arise for designers in events of different libraries or blocks having conflicting cell names being used during the IP merging process. For example, in the diagram here, if the subcells A and B in the input SOC as shown are replaced with cells from libraries 1 or 2, we can use Calibre Design Revs Layout File Merge to verify which library did the replaced A or B cells came from. This can be done using File Merge's Summary option. This option provides the cell's source layout along with its number of occurrences and the reason why a cell wasn't included in the output. So, if there are multiple libraries being merged with the main SOC block containing cells that may have common names, Summary option can help us validate the library source of cells in the merged output. Let's see how. My folder here has libraries 1 and 2 that contains two different versions of cells with conflicting names, namely inverter and NAND, meaning that these consist of different shapes. I use the layout file merge command to merge the input SOC with these two other libraries. Please notice the order of inputs fed to the file merge command. When we execute this command, I would like to know that cells of which library out of the two replace the original cells in my merged output without having to load the design in memory. The summary option that we used in our command wrote out a summary text file that fetched me with this information. Meaning, as you can see, the version of cells inverter and nan got overwritten from library 1 in the merged output. But in case you needed cell versions from library 2 to override cells in the merged output, you can simply reverse the order in which the inputs were provided to the file merge command. The last input would override all the previous ones in case of conflicting cell names. Now you can see in the second merge summary file that the inverter and NAND cell versions got overwritten from library 2 in the output as desired. This is how in events of cells from different blocks having conflicting names, using summary option can verify that source of the cells are indeed correct and it's also useful in validating the IP versions are indeed as expected during the SOC merging process. Thank you.